Hey yo, it has been a crazy past few months. My wife and I welcomed our third kid, plus holiday stuff. Today's tutorial has to do with adding effects like this, and this, and this. A lot of times it can be a very minor detail, but they add so much to your shot. Before jumping into the computer, depending on the size of the effect that you're gonna be adding, you could use a colored light on your subject to help sell the effect, but it's not necessary. For today's example, we are using Iron Man, who usually has a lot of lights and things that we can add to make him pop. This is the pick before any editing. Fun side note, my wife actually made these gloves because my son loves Iron Man, and so it's pretty cool, huh? Hmm? This is the pick that I took. I already removed the stick and I'm not really doing any editing or color grading yet. I don't always do it in this order, but for this one, I'm gonna add the effects and then I'm gonna go in and do all the color grading. The process that I use for making these effects, it's pretty much the same thing as how I make a lightsaber, but it's just gonna be toned down a bit. If you do have multiple effects that you're adding and they're different colors, then usually you do each one a different layer. But for this one, I know the pieces that I am gonna do are all gonna be the same color, similar effect, so I'm just gonna do them all as one. The key and the foundation of what we're doing is just we're painting something and we're gonna be blurring it, and that's gonna give us that glow. An easy example to start off with are gonna be the hand lasers. I'm gonna have them kinda charging up. And so the base of this is just gonna be a circle. So with the brush tool set to 100% opacity, I make the size fit within the circle. And then just click. And that's it, the effect's done. Not really. If I was doing different color effects, this is where I would just move on to the second step. But because I'm doing all of these effects the same, I'm going to create the base for all of them first and then continue. So for the second hand, exactly the same, boom. For the center chest piece, instead of using the brush tool, I'm gonna use this lasso tool while holding the option key to create straight lines. And so once again, I'm keeping the shape within the shape on the figure. And then once it's connected, I fill it with white. When you push command and delete, it fills the area with your secondary color. So I set it to white and boom. The last pieces that I'm gonna add are gonna be the eyes. So using the lasso again, I'm gonna draw inside one eye and then fill it with white. Command delete. But for the other eye, I'm not gonna draw it. I'm going to copy and paste this eye and then flip it. So this wouldn't work if Iron Man was at an angle or facing a different direction, but because he's straight on, it works. So now that we have all these pieces set, we're gonna duplicate the layer four times. And so the next phase is to blur all these colors. So we're gonna select the top one and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set it to 50. And then repeat this for each layer, but for the amount of blur, we're gonna be decreasing it. So after 50, the next layer is gonna be 40, and then 20, and then 10, and then four for the final one. So notice that none of the shapes are solid again, they're all blurred. So we're gonna combine the top three layers and then set the blending mode to screen. And now we're gonna change the colors by selecting the layer and going to the hue and saturation tab, click the colorize box, and here is where you select the color you want. If you want a full color, set the saturation to 100. But for Iron Man, I don't really want it full blue. So I'm not setting it all the way to 100. You don't have to, but I like combining all the effect layers to keep it clean and setting it to screen again. As a final touch, I do like to add some small smoke brush strokes. And this is one I just downloaded from the internet. I choose the color of the effects and with the opacity about 40%, it just paints a little. I usually do all of this smoke on one layer. I'll decrease the opacity to how I like it you definitely don't want this too obvious, but, but it really does help sell the glow. As a final bonus effect, we're gonna add the blasters that's coming out of his feet. And these are just muzzle flashes that I got from the internet. You can go online on Google and download a bunch of different kinds of flashes or explosions. And so I'm gonna add that real quick to give these blasts down. I'm gonna set these to screen, which erases the black background. I might mess with the lighting a bit to give a cleaner image. 
And lastly, I'll get some of that orange from the blast and paint it a little there with my smoke brush. I do some more color and lighting adjustments like I've posted in previous tutorials, but this is the final image that we got. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions to create and inspire, peace.